Hello there, what's up guys? Today I'm going to make a tutorial on uh, CSRF protection. Now we have been doing a Laravel series on Laravel 8. So now in this video we're going to look at how to implement CSR, CSRF protection, which stands for Cross-Site Request Forgery. Now what is CSRF? This, so this is what we're going to look at in this tutorial. Now CSRF stands for Cross-Site request forgery it's whereby commands are performed on behalf of a, an authenticated user in other words what this uh, what happens is that the malicious user will want to lure any user to visit a website that is not the intended website in uh, in a web application now in other words here what happens is for example when someone is submitting a form uh, you'll be lured into another website so that instead of submitting to the right one which may be happen to be your web application you submit it to another application so enough of the talking so let me just uh, get started so what you're going to do here we are going to make a form here uh, so i already have a form created here so i'm just going to copy and paste uh, so this is the form so what is happening here is that i'm having a form here which has the form section uh, the form action where it submits to then the post the method is post now post method is secure for submitting any uh, form request um, and then now we are using here the at csrf now at csrf what it does is that it's going to generate a token that is going to verify that the indicated user is the person that is actually making the request to your application so what happens here is that an, a, a token is going to be generated this token has to match a particular token that is uh, already stored in the in the session in other words once you submit this form a token will be generated this token is used to match the the token that is in the stored now when we go to so let's go to this form verify csrf now once we go to this particular uh, file here you can register any particular uh, token or any particular csrf that you want to protect your file so this is the file that you need to we may do it on a global level but what we are doing here already we have already implemented it on the on the phone so this is what we are doing here all right so let's uh, continue so what we are doing here we, we just have a simple form which uh, has the user input and then the password and then the submit like so so let me just say this one and then in the web remember here if you have watched the other tutorials this one we're just getting the user and returning the index that is under the user controller so we are just returning the view so now what I want us here to return on the web, since this is a post, we are going to perform a post method here. So this is what we are going to do. So I'm just going to copy this one like this. And then let me just post it below. So what we're going what we are doing here is that we are going to the user and then we are instead of now performing the index. We are going to create another file here, which we are going to call it, that is the post. So we are creating another file here, that is the post, that is we are going to control at post. So that means that here in the user controller, I'm going to create another uh, index function. So let me just copy this one. And let me paste it there. So what I'm doing here is that I'm going to add this one as the post function and then this post function is going to have a request because it's taking in request okay. so this should be the request and then okay so we are performing the request there as you can see now here what you're going to do here we are not going to return a view but you're going to return or you are going to return a requested input that is you are going to return the input that we are going to get from the form when a particular user uh, fills the form so it has to be so that's 
In other words, the form has to submit somewhere. So here, we're going to have request. And then here, we're going to have input. So this one, this particular function is going to take the input and submit it to us. So that's what's happening here. So we are requesting the input data. And then we are, check, uh, we are receiving the input together with the token. So here, we have just made the controller at post referencing this particular uh, function and then we are now receiving and posting the data now here I, I will not need to have it as such as, as the endpoint so here I'm just going to have the user since and then here we are not performing the get but we are performing a post so here we are just performing the post like this so this is what's happening here so we have the, our index page and then once the person fills the details, it's going to be posted like this. So this is what is happening here. All right, guys, so let's just check this. Let's see. So I'm going to run PHP. That is unserved. All right, so let me navigate to this URL. All right, guys, so now we are presented with this particular uh, page. So where we have the username and then a password so what you are, what i'm going to do here i'm just going to fill my credentials uh and let's see how it works and let me submit this form all right now you can see is once i submit the form the form generates a particular token now this is the token that is generated and then this is now the particular uh that is the my name user and then the password as you can see but now what i want you to get note of is the, this particular token now this token will be will be unique whenever this particular user uh, fills any particular form in this web application this particular token would be unique in terms of it has already been recorded and stored in a particular uh, session so that it can be uh, validated so this is how csrf works in my application so remember what we have done we have just created the route post the controllers at post and then the and then the user blade we have just created a particular form that submits with the method post and then we have included now remember in at csrf you can use at csrf in particular uh, ways now in another video i'll show you how to use csrf in uh, you can also have it in, for example within the uh, within the name here you can also have it within the header here so it can be included in any way but it will still work the same however this is the most common one that is used in many web application and then remember here in the user control what we have done is we have created a post function that handles the request now ensure this request is much is much in this one because i had uh, i had put this request in this way so just to ensure it's matching like that since it is a variable and then now we are requesting the input which is now this what we are getting here together with the particular uh, token so right so this is the tutorial for this particular uh, session so let's meet in the next uh, video so subscribe if you haven't subscribe to this channel thanks guys for watching